Okay, I just want to go over the new sets really quickly. There is 10 new sets. Some can be obtained from the new PvE area, some are craftable, some you can purchase with Telvar stones. So, the new craftable sets, they are this one Warren's Legacy, then we have the Quarch Gladiator and the Pelineal Curus. I will put those into the description as well so you can see where you get those item sets from. Then there is also a lot of old sets that got upgraded or a little bit changed that I know of right now. Anyway, let's start. Flanking strategist, so five piece bonus, attacks from behind an enemy gain an additional 330 weapon damage. I think this is underpowered, it should be around 500 to make it worthwhile because as you see Hunting's Rage gives me a permanent 288 weapon damage so why would I choose the flanking set which doesn't give me those permanently, kind of weird. Then Varan's Legacy, 10% chance on block that the next AoE attack you will you use will deal an additional 3.3k damage. This can be nice, I guess, but yeah, it's like maybe somebody will find use for it. Galerian's Revenge, when you hit an enemy with a light or heavy attack, you put the mark of revenge on them for 15 seconds. After stacking six marks on a target, they will detonate for. 5.8k magic damage. This can be cool, maybe for Nightblades if you combine it with Spectral Blow, and it probably scales with Elemental Expert. Quarch Gladiator, your light and heavy attacks deal an additional 660 weapon damage to targets below 25% health. I think this might be not useful because 660 weapon damage on light and heavy attacks is not really much at least for light attacks and at 25% you will be executing anyway <laughs> then next one while you are in Imperial City you tap into the power of the Telvar stones you are carrying increasing your health magic and stamina by 1k okay. while you have a 4x Telvar stone multiplier, this effect is increased by 600%. So basically you need to have 10k Telvar stones on you to get 6k resources of each. So this might be cool for a uh, Emperor or for some people that want to lose their Telvar stones. I don't really see how anyone that would wear that. It's way too risky, like 10k to war zones, what the fuck. <laughs> then, Pelineal Aptitude. Your weapon damage and spell damage both become the highest of the two values. So this set is for hybrid builds. Could be cool, we will see what people do with it. It is craftable, so it's in light, medium and heavy. So, might be a cool set, we will see. <laughs> then, two of the Harbringer, or however you pronounce it. When, when you successfully block an attack with no duration, whatever that means, you deal damage to your attacker equal to 5% of your current health. So... This might be nice for an Emperor, I guess, but otherwise I don't really see it useful. Hide of Mori House set. Mori House? This sounds wrong, but whatever. Rolling through enemies deals 2.2k physical damage and knocks them down. This could be a cool set, but it's heavy. It's heavy armor. If it was a medium, it would be cool. But it's not it's it is not craftable, so too bad. I mean yes, it could be nice for some heavy armor dudes maybe. Then we have Sifi's Touch. Using the blade of Vogrant's Major Berserk for six seconds. That it's also heavy armor. 
too bad it's not craftable. Major Bursack, I can't remember what that does. Is it the increased damage? I will put it into the description of what Major Bursack does next to the set. Then the Wicked Cannon of Venom set. This is light. Your attacks from stealth inject a leeching poison that deals 16.5 16.6k poison damage over 15 seconds and heals you for the damage done. So basically it's a 1k tick per second. But this is light armor, why is it not the medium? Because poison damage is scales from mighty and is mainly used by medium or heavy armor people. I hope they change that to medium armor. Let's see what they do with this. Anyway, those are the new sets. Now let's just get quickly over the sets that changed or got upgraded. So, Skirmisher is now max level again. <laughs> we all know when you roll dodge it increases your weapon damage and weapon crit for 8 seconds. Kind of cool. Then elegant jerking light attack and heavy attacks damage increased by 20%. So for a heavy attack gank build, magic DK probably a nice set. <laughs> then drug king slayer. I hope I pronounce this right. Otherwise I will get stabbed down by role players immediately. Killing an enemy grants you major expedition for 10 seconds, increasing your movement speed by 30%. Grants major brutality, increasing your weapon damage by 20%. So, they changed this set. I think they thought it's a good idea to give it major expedition, which is cool. But, they also probably thought it's a good idea to give it major brutality, but this is shit. Because... Everybody has major brutality anyway, so this increase your weapon damage by 20% should be a separate buff. That's the thing. Because nobody will, really, it's just you, like the two free items and bonus, okay, you can use that. If I'm not mistaken, there is jewelry for most of the sets, at least for Vicious, Ophidian, and the Infallible, there is sets this year too so maybe for those is too but can confirm it but really they should change like they should not use the major brutality buff here it's just lazy it should be a separate buff so it stacks because otherwise this fucking bonus is useless then now to avoid confusion they kind of swapped around the vicious serpent with the infallible either they kind of turned it around so this in real is infallible mage. They changed it around a little bit so you see the free piece bonus gives you now minor slayer causing your monsters to deal 5% more damage. Then also your fully charged heavy attacks do an additional 600 damage. It's not a lot but whatever. Then Enemies you damage with fully charged heavy attacks are affected with minor vulnerability for 10 seconds, increasing their damage taken by 8%. If this works on boss monsters, this will be a must-have, especially if it works on the whole party. Check of the Viper, your melee attacks deal 7.7k poison damage. This effect can occur once every 4 seconds. So, this set can be really fucking cool for PvP actually. Uh, it gets it probably gets buffed by Mighty. So <laughs> this this can be fucked up actually. Holy shit. Then this is the Vicious Serpent set. You also see they give it gives us minor slayer increasing the uh, damage on bosses. Then the five piece bonus Reduces stamina costs, which can be cool, and when you kill an enemy, you restore 2k stamina and gain the major expedition buff. So this used to be, this used to be a 75% increased speed buff, so they changed it to the expedition buff. It's just bad that they all get rid of those unique buffs. I don't get it, why they do that. Yes, this will be the best set to fucking fuck grind because it gives 2k on every f dead mob. <laughs> it's 
a lot. Then Shadow Dancers Raymond ignores movement speed penalty while sneaking. And it gives you a stem semi recovery. Yeah, it can be I don't know. Maybe for some vampire dudes or uh, whatever I don't know like it, it, it the question is does it stack with the vampire speed thing even you're in when you're sneaking I don't know then the eternal Yokida so this gives now the minor Aegis and yeah when you die you gain 200 ultimate and you get into a statue then Nightmare, 20% chance on melee attack to apply minor maim to nearby enemies for 5 seconds, reducing the damage they deal by 15%. So again, this debuff can be... Like, you can get those things from skills, so why would you use this set? And they changed the Mephala Mask, or the Mephala set. It, it used to deal magic damage, now it deals poison damage. So, again, I haven't tested any of those sets, but the sets, some sets seem quite underpowered. Some seem nice. At least it's cool that they upgraded the old, like, sets from Sanctum. So this is a nice change. But yeah, we will see. I hope they buff some of the sets. So, if you... Things like you you want to get some sets changed, make sure to leave feedback in their official feedback thread. I will also put the link into the description. Anyway, that was it. See you soon, guys. Cheers.